All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything here in the end times. It is a gorgeous Thursday somewhere. I don't know what the fuck, July 20th, 20, 23 through there, 75 degrees, sunny, and not too smoky. So this beautiful morning, uh, here is what I am doing with this spectacularly gorgeous morning, and then what I'm going to do with the afternoon. So, I have a full house coming in uh, to the Airbnb. Well, not just a full house. Every tiny house rented, blah, blah, blah. All of these people pouring in tomorrow, and we have no internet at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Well, I'm not, I, I can't say no internet because this story is so bizarre. Even the, the, the tech support guy at the internet place says, what you're telling me is basically impossible. You know, I, I love this shit, like the bed bug inspector. What you're telling me is impossible. Now the internet tech support. So what is going on? is nobody has any internet. This motherfucking router that I am taking back is two weeks old today. Two fucking weeks ago to improve the internet service at Bugs in a Jar, got a brand new top of the line high tech modem and router, updated the whole system. Everything has been great for two weeks. Now, no internet whatsoever and the guy from the office he's telling me that the modem is fine is fine but the modem cannot find the router so that is why nobody has any internet he goes bring it back the two week old fucking router uh, bring it back and we'll swap it out blah 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 but I was having this conversation with him on Skype. Having this fucking conversation on Skype, uh, which is run, is based on the internet. When I am talking to someone on Skype, uh, as the guy uh, freely admits, it is the router that is allowing me to talk on Skype. Skype works totally fine. Skype and this router are best friends. And usually in situations like this, Skype is the very first thing to go. Uh, and, and now Skype is in love with my new router and uh, nothing else works on the router. No emails, no uh, YouTube, no mainstream media news, no nothing. So, uh, dealing with that. And so then I went to plug in my fucking $620 smartphone to try to work around that and there is some piece of garbage has gotten stuck up inside the charging port of my fucking uh, of, of my fucking six hundred and twenty dollar smartphone. So I have, other than Skype, I have no computer. I have no cell phone. I tried to dig the fucking thing out with a uh, toothpick and a safety pin. I don't know what the fuck this is, uh, but I don't want to hurt those little wires in the, in the goddamn port with the fucking safety pin. So after I deal 
with getting a new router, it's time to head into fucking Ithaca to get somebody to clean out the fucking port. But I have to go into Ithaca anyway because the lamp uh, in uh, Seahorse, the bedside lamp has gone out so there is no light in one of the tiny houses and nobody has any internet and I have no cell phone. Uh, so this is my day. Uh, meanwhile, what, what, I'm, what I am dealing with on uh, with, with these uh, fuckers at, uh, at my vacation rental uh, business, I got, the, I got the single worst review I have ever gotten in my entire life. Uh, and, and it's on the, the, the original little tiny house. Uh, I got a three star. I was left a three star on it. So I went, but so he was the 52nd person. This dude uh, was the 52nd person to uh, leave a review on there. Going into his review, I had a 4.96. Hummingbird was rated a 4.96 out of 51 people. This guy gives me a 3, so he knocks a uh, hummingbird in one review from a 4.96, but I still sit at a 4.9. The, the fucker gave me a 2 on cleanliness. He gave me a, a, two, a 2 on cleanliness. And so now, with his review of giving me a 2, I am showing uh, on Hummingbird a 4.97 on cleanliness. So I'm going around and around with the Airbnb people and they say that I must have had, if this guy gave me a 2 and that knocked me down to a 4.97, they said you probably had a 4.99 on cleanliness uh, before uh, th th this fucker comes in. He gives me a 2 on cleanliness and a 3 on value. That thing is $79 is what I charge for uh, Hummingbird on a Friday and Saturday night. So he gave that a three uh, on value, and I came out with a total of three, you know, quenched down to three stars. The single worst review I have ever gotten uh, as a super host. Ah, oh, Jesus. Dealing with this fucking bullshit. This is my life. leave this goddamn router off and go uh, go have me a nice breakfast in Spencer, New York while they figure all of this out and uh, start my day over again at noon before heading to uh, the Verizon store to try to get this fucking shit dug out of my fucking cell phone charging port <laughs> anyone who wants to know what the collapse of global industrial civilization is going to look like this is what it's going to look like guys this is what it's going to start with you're, 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 you're going to turn on your fucking internet uh, after the collapse there will be no internet uh, or there will be no router to trade in for uh, your fucking charging port uh, we'll, we'll get some p little piece of dirt in it. Uh, it, it, it more and more of this shit is, is going to happen as this whole fucking civilization just gets more and more and more complex 
and uh, we get more and more of these fucking little gadgets that can break down. Uh, the more shit uh, we have in our lives to break down. Look at me, I have how many warning lights do I have <laughs> on my uh, my sister was very impressed when we started out for this long drive in my truck yesterday and pretty much every every warning light on my uh, on my truck was lit up like a fucking Christmas tree all right is the goddamn restaurant even open yep Alright, drop off this fucking router. Go get me some goddamn breakfast. Looks like a fucking barn. <laughs> get out there and enjoy global industrial civilization while you still can, guys. This whole fucking thing is coming down. My guys.